Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I'm back with another design team project for creative scrapping here in Norway. And they do ship worldwide and I will put the link to their store below. And uh, here I made a tractor with a hanger uh, behind and uh, for this project I used two of the matchboxes from Graphic 45 and I also used um, the Mother Goose collection some different stickers and uh, shipboard cutouts and yeah we'll show you in the end of the video a bit more of uh, the products I used and also how I put the tractor together and uh, also will tell you a bit about uh, the scotch glue I use they have changed it a bit so I will just give you some tips so um, here I made um, this uh, front by cutting off um, uh, one of the um, um, matchboxes in two and cut out a window here and uh, inside here is a little mini album and I will show you that a bit uh, later in the video so just uh, do some explaining here and um, for the wheels here I've used a, sh a sticker uh, cutouts and the shipboard cutouts and back them, them on uh, uh, black uh, shipboard and then took some brads so they can swivel around like so and um, for the pipe here I used um, this was a wine cork and on the top here was uh, uh, from um, Exiron uh, sticker maker they have when it's empty I save the rolls inside some uh, petal flowers and leaves here and a cow <laughs> peeking on the top I really love this and uh, this uh, grass uh, here I got from my friend Velma so thank you so much Velma and uh, maybe I can I think I will flip my camera up a bit and uh, show you a bit more uh, detail so I'll be back so here you can see it from the top and uh, maybe start with uh, showing the hanger here and it's attached with a brad here and a soda cap holder here that I painted black so inside here I have some moss and some fussy cutouts uh, some lamb here a little milk bottle here so they are just loose and some gardening tools here so they can be displayed on the outside as well and um, some petalu flowers laying here and uh, here is a banner that I glued on a, a wire and uh, on both uh, sides so hope you can see that and um, a lady here is doing some gardening and uh, all the fussy cut uh, uh, here is um, layered with the Claudine Helmet Multimat and also outlined with a sig pen and uh, for the side here I made uh, this I'm not sure what it's called fence maybe um, from folding uh, black paper and uh, uh, put some uh, black paper strips in between and then just glued it around here and here I use a strip uh, border strip from the paper line here you can see the wheels again they spin and I did uh, put them on some brads and uh, layered them I'm not sure if you can see it here with um, uh, some round circles but I think I have to adjust them a bit standing a bit out so they do like so so uh, I think I have to uh, glue them on again and make it a bit smaller in here and uh, back here is um, ornate metal label holder also from graphic 45 and some uh, brads here and it's a license plate and it says Humpty Dumpty it's from the sticker sheet and some fussy cut flowers around here and on the front here is from uh, uh, the um, shipboard cutouts so that's the hanger and then for the tractor here I am. Um, I can show you on the back here first. Here's a bit, a little a booklet here, standing here, 
and some fussy cat again and it says mother goose some goose here and this is the drawer with a mini album inside so I'll show you that later so but I can show you this one first it's a tiny little booklet so it closes up with a magnet here and uh, this uh, I cut out and folded from uh, it was from the 12 by 12 paper so I just folded it and glued them together so it's just for some fun so I wanted the, um, this to be uh, a bit uh, fun to, uh, for children to look at and I made it so it can be displayed in a children's room. So I'll give you a bit more close up on the tractor here, some fussy cut flowers here. And uh, here I think I need to glue the sticker a bit better down. So, and here is a mother goose and some goose on the tops here. And uh, here's the driver behind here. And uh, these are uh, buttons, metal buttons from Graphic 45. And uh, this lady and a dog behind here is going inside the tractor. And I cut out the bow here. So, and uh, I think I can show you the mini album. So. laying in the drawer here and this is um, I cut it at uh, two and a quarter by four so it's just enough enough uh, room here so also did some fussy cutting and uh, so it will be fun inside the drawer so maybe I need to zoom in a bit here <laughs> it's so tiny so in the front here I fussy cut this out and the hat doesn't come like this so I just cut the paper a bit higher up here and um, and uh, so uh, for the shape of the hat and also made this a bit longer and just colored it in. So she's hanging loose here. A little boy is in his bed. A little tag behind here from the cardstock cut out. And, um, for the closure I used um, a sticker sheet that I folded in uh, two. It's a border from the sticker sheet, so I will show you the sticker sheet later. And I put a little flower here, and it's a magnet closer. And this album is really tiny, so it can be placed for um, two by three photos, but uh, I think it's maybe better to cut out some shapes of uh, the photos. So for the first page here, a little girl with a lamp and here I can put a, a little tag or something inside and it says Mary had a little lamp and this can be folded out so it closes with a magnet so here you also can put something behind here so, and here is also a tag from uh, the cardstock cutout and a little pocket here and uh, it's um, tag on the top and this is from the shipboard cutouts and I cut it out like so on uh, the back around so I made the uh, for the other tags I uh, used this shape and just copy it and here it says good night and uh, my thought for this was uh, either to write uh, the story down or uh, some funny things uh, the child uh, said so when display it with uh, some pictures. Uh, children really does uh, say very many funny things so it's uh, worth remembering. As parents we all <laughs> often do forget uh, the small words and uh, the funny thing th things uh, they do and say. So, And uh, for the next page here it says Rockabye rock Baby and uh, most of these images on here I just used repositional glue so it can be taken out and place a photo here and then it can be put over and just uh, take them out if the receiver wants to. And uh, for this uh, side here is um, a pocket from the cardstock cutout and it's a little tag inside here also from the cardstock cutout just a uh, fussy cut a flower here and uh, this flips up with a magnet 
And I cut out this little girl here and made her a rope here. Another little tag inside. And this is from the sticker border. Like so on the back. And here is uh, also some more fussy cutting and this also can be taken off. And on this side um, this can be flipped down. It's a magnet inside here. So this I glued on. And another tag from the cardstock cut out here. And here is a border strip from the paper. And just a little pocket here. And it's, here it says bedtime story. Like so on the back. And here is a little boy sleeping. <laughs> a little boy blue it says from the sticker sheet here. And here is another um, um, tag from the cardstock cut out. And here I popped up some fussy cut flowers just to make it some dimensional. And this can be fold out like so. So this boy is also loose so can be taken out. Like so. So there is a place, even if it's a small, it's placed for many cute small photos in this album. So just place him inside here. And also a tag here. Like so. And like so on the back. And here is uh, the little girl, Mary Mary, quite contrary, is doing some gardening. And uh, here I made uh, this, uh, I saved the frames when I cut out the images and I backed it on um, uh, some uh, uh, tags from the paper line. And so on the back. So this I fastened, this pocket here. And this can flip up like so. Gives, do some journaling or writing inside. And here I use the other um, uh, shipboard uh, tag on top or tab <laughs> and some border from the paper line bedtime story so this uh, shows up on the back when you flip this over so it shows up here so here's Humpty Dumpty and a little postcard behind like so and here is going to bed and he's counting sheep so, and this also can be taken out like so here I also used a frame and a little girl and a little dog. So, and this is the back. So it's a bit loose around the frame so you can put the photo inside here. Pages inside here, I just glue them back to back and uh, scored a bit to give it some room in between. So that was uh, the album. And then I also made a card. It's so fun to create with this uh, paper line. So maybe zoom out a bit. Hmm. So on the front here I have a postcard behind the gardening girl. And this can be taken out and you can write the name to the receiver. So just plain on the back. And I have a little secret pocket here. I do like to create some secret places. So it can be pulled out like so. I'm gonna write a, a little secret message here. So and the flower here is from the cardstock cutouts. So I just formed it a bit. It's uh, easy to use uh, this uh, flowers and I made it a bit dimensional here. So I just used my stylus and uh, shaped them a bit. And this is uh, for also from the cardstock uh, cutouts and uh, the banner here. So I backed them on some uh, black paper so it uh, will show up uh, from this backing paper here. And this is from a sticker sheet and I popped it up on some pop dots. And on the back here are some, just some tags, just for fun. And also from the cardstock, now shipboard cutouts. So it opens with a magnet like so. So here you also can place a little message inside or a picture or anything. And uh, the corners here are from uh, the stickers sheet. And I made a little a bow on the top. And then it can be folded out like so. So this can be displayed up like so. 
So here I um, cut out some from the music uh, songs, so I think it's a bit fun for children to have. But they also can be turned around and uh, used as a photo frame, like so, or they can be taken out and um, uh, use all this as a photo frame or write the story. So here I cut out all the images from the 8x8 paper. So I think it was a bit fun. So I hope it will be fun for children to look at. And I think it's uh, important also to make something for children and inspire them to to maybe make some themselves. And maybe sit together with them and cut out and they can put it on as they like. Maybe on a layout or make a card for grandma or anything. So this uh, was my project and uh, now I will show you a bit uh, how I put the tractor together and uh, maybe show you the glue first. Uh, I was a bit disappointed because I really love this uh, scotch uh, glue and now they have come with this and it has to stand up like so and I like to have it like so then all the glue goes down and it's easy to grab and, uh, and uh, glue. And if you see the top here, they are a bit different. This uh, old one is much more precise than the new one. So what I did, I took this and <laughs> inside this uh, bottle here. So if you are like me, save the old ones. So then you can refill this and uh, use them. And uh, maybe if you will <laughs> uh, write a note to uh, 3M, uh, we uh, many of the, us uh, do that, maybe they go back to this glue here because I really love the, the tip here and also that it can stand up like so. It's easy to grab. So that was that. Now I will show you a bit on the tractor here. So uh, I used uh, two match boxes and um, for the shape here I put this in uh, this way here. So I have this on the bottom on the tractor and this is also, I used uh, this other one for the hanger and uh, then the, we have one left over of this and this I cut in two like so and glued it on with my hot glue gun but you can also use hinges and uh, then I made myself some templates about one and one and a half and uh, cut around here and uh, the back side here I also cut off and that I used for the top roof here and um, then it can be difficult to um, place some paper over and here I used the 6x6 paper and then I just lay it down on my paper and traced around before I uh, glued uh, the roof on so then it's easy to make uh, templates for it and also for the front, I uh, just uh, put this down on the paper and traced around. So then you get uh, the shapes for it. So here you can see the bottom inside. Hopefully. <laughs> so, and uh, then I will show you the flowers I used and the papers. So if you are interested in seeing what I used here, most of you maybe know all these papers and flowers, but for those of you who aren't so familiar with it. So I used um, the dye, dialing uh, flowers. Uh, I didn't use these flowers, I used uh, the leaves that was in this pack and I had it around me here someplace. But now it's gone. But it's uh, these small leaves and they are really beautiful. And I will give you the item number here. Hope you can see it. And uh, the flowers I used was uh, this one. And it's uh, 24 in a package. And uh, it's uh, this one here. So if you go to uh, Petaly uh, Flowers uh, side you can f find all the different uh, flowers they have. And um, now for the paper line, I showed you this <laughs> mother goose. And I used both uh, the 8x8 and 12x12. And I also used uh, the 6x6 paper pad. 
and uh, this is really great. It's uh, solid on one side and uh, and uh, some pattern on the other side. And what's great about uh, this, you get more uh, um, uh, paper shapes. Or uh, <laughs> I forgot the word, word, but um, they are different from these papers. So you get even more to play with. And um, here are the sticker sheets I used. And I use some borders here and uh, also some here, some sayings here. And uh, the flower here. It's a flower, you can make different flowers. And here are the banners. And you get two sheets in every pack here. So, and here are some um, of the pockets and uh, tags. And, um, so the same. I have two of each, so I used some of these. And uh, the shipboard cutouts here. And also this one. So here I used the wheels. And the big wheel here was from the sticker sheet. So it was uh, the one standing here, so like this one. So uh, thank you so much for watching everyone and I also want to thank you all for your uh, kind comments and uh, support. It, uh, you are so kind and uh, I really uh, appreciate, appreciate uh, each and one of you. So uh, thank you so much everyone. So take care and have fun creating. Bye bye.